So even as I come in here, it's rust up under here. I use a dry pad to take the paint off, but you see it ain't really taking the rust off of there, guys. taking all of that rust off of there. Now, I can sit here and sand. Eventually, it's going to come off, but I still see little pits. Now, I'm going to come back in here in a minute after I get all this paint off, and when I use this concrete and metal prep, just watch how that uh, just takes all of the little rust in the little pit holes and everything it's just gonna eat it all right up all right so now I'm gonna come in here with this concrete and metal prep <laughs> just really eats that rust right down the bare metal and then any other little pits that you have in there that acid is gonna treat that so all right so the name of this you know stuff I use is concrete and metal prep but like I said this was all rusted but you spray that stuff on there it's really gonna eat this stuff down to the bare metal <laughs> trunk and jam jam now jam mean painting man so as you see I pull the tape up where I want that truck to trunk the ground uh, where the hinges go so you want to pull the tape up you got to be careful I just took a little pick if you see uh got a little slight I missed right there a little bit. It, it still should flatten out a little bit as uh, as it dries, as the clear is drying. But uh, you want to just take your time. You got to pull that tape off right away. Otherwise, uh, you'll scratch it up more trying to get it off later. Trust me. So, uh, and it's late. I should have started this earlier. So that's why I, you know make little mistakes when you're tired. Got to pull that piece of tape up just a little, but that should come off no problem. So, but uh, that 70 Wildcat trunk is in jam, guys, and uh, she's looking pretty good, man. So, 